Daisy and Alexandra here. Today we're having a look at some of the ways in which you can create mockups in Canva, like the one in this example, which I used on Instagram to promote one of my courses. The very first thing you can do is go and search for mockups or a mockup within the templates from Canva. And here you can really choose from phones, computers, tablets, anything with a screen really, or an example like this, which has just the browser on it. And in place of the original image, you have a frame, which you can find in the elements section under frames. And this is useful because you can go onto photos and look for something like a laptop. You can choose, for example, this image, even one that already has something on the screen or that has a black screen or just a different wallpaper. And you're going back to your elements and really finding a rectangle frame. And you can either add one of these frames here or just go on and upload maybe a screenshot like I have here and position it as needed. In my case, I will have to cut this image so it fits. So I'm double clicking on it and dragging it as much as needed. Click on done. Then you can just go on and replace this image with a different one you might have. From the photos section, you can just look for mock-up as well. And here under the search bar, you will get a bunch of recommendations for mock-ups, including desk flat lay, and this one you can customize by changing the actual view on the tablet, or you can go for a simple flat lay like this and maybe add in from the element a mock-up element. You can find a bunch of mock-ups to use. So do add in a keyword like phone mock-up, or again, you can use it from the elements section as this will be faster. Just make it seem realistic, add it here, and again, you can add one of your images on top of this. Now, another thing you can create, again, from photos, write mockup again, and here you will see some other examples of mockups you can create, including this poster image, anything you want it to be. What you can do now is go and add maybe a poster that you have. This one I have also created in Canva, so everything you see in this image is created here. Now back to our mock-up search, there's also t-shirts you can try, business cards, and again you can create business cards in Canva as well and just add them on top of this to present them via a portfolio of yours. Tote bags, just iPhones, and if you look for an iMac, you will also find loads of similar examples. So let's just go with this option for now. And I'm going to show you how you can create a scrolling image within this so it's actually animated. And I'm first going to make this larger. And I'm going to my upload section where I actually have a video like the one we need. I'm fitting this in, double clicking again to cut it just the way I need it. You can always zoom in a bit to kind of see exactly what you're doing and just make sure everything looks as okay as possible. And now when you save this or when you present it, it will be displayed as a scrolling video. Now you can use this in Instagram posts, presentations, or just videos. Now to create this actual video, I used this tool, which I'm going to link to in the description below. Now the tool is very simple to use and I am actually using it right now to record this video. So I'm going to briefly show you alternative to this to create something that Canva actually has in one of their posts on Twitter. So this tool is called Screen to GIF and it's used mostly to create GIFs by recording your screen. So once I'm in the tool, I'm going to click on Recorder and really select the area I want to record and I'm pressing Record. Then I'm going to scroll a bit through this list and again upwards. 
closing this video. And I'm going to delete these first shots by clicking on the first part and somewhere around here while pressing shift. Click delete, delete. And then I'm going to preview this video by going to playback, play. And I'm going back to my home to delete some of the ones at the beginning, just to make it a bit shorter. And you can kind of see where the video starts moving by looking at each frame. Again, delete these, play it again, just to make sure it's okay. And I'm going to save this. Then I'm uploading it again here in Canva. And in the meantime, I'm going to select a mock-up for a Bone. I can have something like this, which I'm moving a bit to the side so we can compare how a photo mockup works in comparison with an element mockup with a frame on it. So I'm going back to my uploads and here I have my GIF. I can just move it like this here. Double click on it to change its size or move it around a bit if you want to. You can just move it here, resize it as needed so that it fits on top of this mock-up as well. Kind of like this, but you can notice that the element mock-up with the frame works much better and it's just easier to do it this way than to spend a lot of time trying to make this GIF in this case fit in the image mock-up. And going back to my original example, you can always go on and switch maybe a static image that you have with a GIF or a video to make it more engaging. As a quick note, you can also get mug templates in Canva and really create the design of your mug and then go on and add it maybe on top of a mock-up or just print it and turn these into stickers. Again, there's also business cards, ideas for tote bags, as I mentioned, and even ideas for t-shirts to maybe create a special t-shirt design for your friend's birthday or even to promote your brand. Now, the very last thing I want to show you is how you can create social media mockups. You can look for things like Instagram frames and here you will find you have basically this stylized option. From it, you can go to your uploads images select maybe one of the images you have make it fit within the screen and it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to send it backward and you have this mock-up essentially for your social media posts and you can always just maybe adjust these pictures a bit add a filter on top of them to see how that will look like and again test it like this and this is actually a handy tool if you want to kind of visualize what your feed will look like. You also have options like these where you can go on and add within these circles again a circle frame from here. So you're going to fit this here, zoom it so you can kind of get this right or you can just send it backwards so you don't waste too much time. But first you need to add an image on top of it and then send it backwards and you've done this. And of course, do the same for the rest as well. And you can find a Facebook post frame in diverse versions, including this one for a Facebook Live, which you can find by looking for a Facebook Live frame. There's also Twitter frames, including this really nice one that includes the phone. You will also get a lot of magic recommendations, which are essentially similar frames you can use. There's also YouTube frames, again, with this same style. But if you don't like the color, don't worry, you can always just change it a bit according to your branding and the image you want to get.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'm leaving some links to my courses in the description below. Let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see on my channel. And until next time, take care. Have a wonderful week ahead.